If you have a website, you need to check out this feature in Chrome because it is also an SEO audit tool, site speed checker, and accessibility analyzer. It will recommend what you should do to improve your page's technical SEO score, and it's completely free. Hello, internet people. My name is Robert, and to access your very own SEO checker tool, all you have to do is to open Chrome and then clicking on these three dots and then selecting new incognito window. And you'll see that it has this black theme uh, all, all over it. That's where you have to be. Then just go to your website and now right click anywhere on the site and choose inspect. And here you need to find these two arrows and then choose Lighthouse. Lighthouse is the uh, program that will be generating this report and it's uh, directly from Google. So you can't get wrong with this one. So here you have a few options. You can uh, select some categories like performance, progressive web app, best practices, ac accessibility, and SEO. But to be honest, the most um, interesting ones are performance and SEO, but I'll keep all of them. And then you can uh, choose also the device, which is mobile or desktop. And uh, I would choose the one that you have most tra traffic from. I'll keep mobile for this one. And then you just generate the report by clicking on this button. Now it'll take a few seconds and it will generate this report and you'll see quickly that you'll have everything in one place and SEO check for free. As you can see, it's already done. And if you start looking at it, you have a few different categories here. You have performance, accessibility, and also best practices. SEO also score. You can see that mine is actually a bit lower here. So for performance, it looks at the page speed, how quickly it loads and things like that. And then it also um, shows you how it loads uh, like every, I don't know what this millisecond it has here. And the cool thing is here at the bottom, it actually also tells you what you could do to improve it. In my case, there's not much, but I think uh, this one is the only thing uh, that I could do better. So for example, load some fonts a bit faster, but sometimes if you're above 80 or 90 uh, score, then don't even worry about it. Uh, I would just uh, keep it at that. Like I, I would not try to get a, a score of 100. Now you can see here accessibility also. Uh, I'm missing something here. So apparently the button is too low contrast. So some people might not see that it's actual a button. Just keep in mind, this is just a tool. So even if you get a, a score of 100, it doesn't mean you're complying to all the rules for accessibility because it really depends on uh, your country and your regulations. Uh, and then best practices, you can take a look, but these are usually quite straightforward. And then the interesting part is obviously the SEO. And in this case, uh, you can do many things to improve this page. Um, in my case, I have a few things here, like the meta description is missing for some, and also uh, links to do not have descriptive text. So for example, I have a couple of links that just says read more, and I guess Google would expect it to say a bit more. Uh, honestly, in this case, I wouldn't even worry about it because it cannot be more uh, descriptive than that because it's, it's something that I have for a blog. So uh, sometimes, these recommendations are not really uh, needed, but it's good to know that you have, this is what Google sees. So Google thinks this might be an issue, but it doesn't mean you somehow get pe penalized because of this. And then if you have a progressive web app, there's also a, a, a section for it here at the bottom. I don't have it enabled right now for my website just because I don't need it. Another thing I want to mention is that this report is per page and not for your whole website. So what I would do is go to your most popular pages and run the analysis there because that way you will know, for example, maybe my homepage is really good. But then if I go into one of my articles, I might get a different score just because it's a different page, has more elements and things like that. So for example, here I have uh, my article and if I rerun this uh, report by clicking on this plus icon, and generate report again, you'll see that the score will be slightly different just because there's more content or different kind of content. Maybe it has to load something else. So I would run this report on your key uh, pages on your website. In this case, the performance is even better for, uh, for my article, but uh, an SEO score even higher. So you never know. Just check your top pages and you'll see if there's any issues there. Now, technical SEO audit like Chrome's Lighthouse is just part of a bigger puzzle because without including this key SEO concept into your keyword research process, you might be missing out on a lot of traffic. 